You can be a rocket genius, but terrible with people. Many great businessmen can't relate to people. Intelligent and smart are not the same thing. Well, how can they be good? I mean, if you can't relate to people, I don't know how you really are a good businessman, unless what you're saying is that because they have a lot of money, that's what makes them a great businessman. Really. I mean, I get what you're trying to say, but uh, no, it, it's, it's, it, it's, it's sicker than that, the system. I mean, it is. It's, um, it's basically, these are businessmen that, they lack such a moral compass that it borders on sociopathic tendencies. So it, it's, it's more than just can't relate to people. Um, you know, I had mentioned in a previous video, maybe it was the one you're replying to, I can't remember, uh, that how, uh, you know, nurses, so we've been told, every nurse has been, you know, knows that it's across the board that, you know, if you take, if you take report, then you've been given those patients. And so you, if you leave in the middle of your shift, just decide to quit that it's a patient abandonment and they can go after you. Yet I realized, don't no, this, this has been a great tool to use to cut staff and then yet you're forcing nurses to stay. It's a great way to put nurses in dangerous situations and then the business people, the leadership can get away with putting you in dangerous situations, put, making unsafe situations because of giving too many patients in an already acute hospital psychiatric ward and then it's like trapping nurses because saying, you know, you can't leave. You'll be in trouble because you abandon patients. Even though those businessmen and those leadership types that are, okay, I guess don't have good relations with people, but such bad people that they could care less what they're doing. But then the worker, the nurse, can't say, no, no, I'm not doing this. And, and people can make the or argument that, you know, it's morally wrong, you know, and yeah, that's why most nurses would, would, would stay. But when it's so unsafe, you're just waiting to run out of the place because it's, it, it's you know, it, you're just one thread away. I mean, you know, you have dangerous people that really belong in jail in some cases, and those people know you don't have enough staff and they just want to terrorize, play games, then that, that's more than just, they may be great, at, they're great at just doing whatever they have to, to, um, to line their pocketbooks. But to say it's just they can't relate to people, no. I mean, I know those kind of people that you're talking about, that, there, you know, there is people that, yeah, in some case, but this, this kind of stuff borders on people that they, they like, they know they're corrupt. But while everyone else is held accountable or has to follow these standards, the workers do. The people in leadership, the businessmen at the top that, that make these calls, Are, are are hurting people. So that's more than just can't relate. And the thing is, is I, I, I understand too what you're saying. And if, if somebody can't relate to people where, because really wisdom, I keep saying it, wisdom only comes from God. It does. I mean, real wisdom only comes from God. Truly honest people are the people that believe in God. How many businessmen believe in God? They don't. Their money is God to them, and they just seek more of it all the time. And, and over the 13 years of being a registered nurse, I've seen that go from, uh, I mean, well, even before I was a nurse, I worked in the hospital system most of my life. So 
you know, back when I was a unit secretary and it was, an, it was, you know, back when it was an ethical system. So there used to be leaders in place that had moral backbone, that did the right thing. You know, people that, people that would never call themselves a chief nursing officer or a, some medical uh, department chief that was going along with unsafe things because they would have enough integrity, integrity and, um, and basically just moral determination that no, I'm, I'm not going to allow myself to take this title that I'm given that's a big leadership title like chief nursing officer or chief medical officer and yet I'm going to just put people in danger when I first of all know better like we used to have people that would say no way I'm not going along with that now everybody goes along with anything they're told no matter how safe it uh, how unsafe it is and and so it's like how many times do do your employees have to get hurt how many times do you need your employees to to, to be terrorized, is, it, is that all just about a businessman? Is that all just being um, about lining their pockets? No, it's about them wanting to hurt people. Like that's, like that's what people need to understand here, is at the root of that kind of behavior, while they have 25 letters after their name, while they're some good, great businessman, they don't just lack people skills. They're deliberately doing things to put people in fearful situations to scare them. And it's, it's been worse than that, you know? I, I mean, I work at a place that people have had their teeth knocked out, that somebody, that somebody got so hurt they can't work the rest of their life because uh, they were beat the hell out of for no reason in the gym. And that, I mean, the stories, I mean, but, and I've worked in psych my whole career. You know, when you have, when you have security, when you have a team, when you have people that then you can, can you can handle those situations, you can. But these are, this is a place that deliberately cuts staff and then puts in the most dangerous people. Nobody is that stupid. And the people with a moral compass are like, no, I'm, I'm, how can I possibly call myself a chief nursing officer or some um, uh, psychology um, chief when I'm doing this to people? So that, no, that's more than just can't relate. That's more than just, um, moral bank I mean it is a moral bankruptcy but it's on a level that no you're you you have sociopathic tendencies because you micromanage while doing it because I think that there's likely great businessmen that 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 would never want their employees to be scared, that would never want their employees, you know, I mean, God, if I was an employer and somebody got their teeth knocked out, and it's ha that's happened twice, and this place has only been open three years, and the amount of injuries that have happened. I, 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 I would feel bad as a businessman of something like that. I would have shame that I don't care, and I continually do the same thing where people get hurt that that's way beyond somebody that just can't relate to people that's really somebody who's just a psychopath but we don't want to say that about people that are in business suits right or, or that have a bunch of money because it's like oh they can't possibly be a psychopath no I think most of them, along with their morally bankrupt chief nursing officers they put in, in my opinion, after what I've seen, most especially in almost the past year where I work, those are the people that should be being evaluated 
and taken out of leadership roles because of how dangerous, dangerous they are to society.